Ladies and gentlemen, Bonnie Ross has quit 343 Industries. This is the biggest Halo news we've had all year, and I was completely shocked when I woke up today and saw the news. Bonnie Ross said herself, while I'd hoped to stay with Halo until we'd released the winter update, I am letting you know I'll be leaving 343 and attending to a family medical issue. Now before I say anything else, the family member who Bonnie needs to go and look after, I wish them all the best and hope they recover soon. Having someone who's chronically unwell, who needs full-time care, is incredibly stressful, so I really wish them all the best for the future. Now with all of that said, let's look at Bonnie's track record. Some good things, Halo MCC mod tools, Halo MCC on PC was great, Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer was also good, and Halo Infinite Sandbox was fantastic. On the flip side of that, Halo MCC launched very broken, Halo 5's campaign was terrible, and Halo 4's population took a nosedive off a cliff. My personal opinion is this is for the best. It looks like Bonnie was initially going to quit after the winter update, but after all the controversy with the roadmap and Halo Infinite and 343, she probably made the decision that it was beneficial to leave sooner rather than later, which I also think is for the best. The online reception to Bonnie leaving has been overwhelmingly positive. People are very, very happy she's gone. But what I didn't like seeing was a bunch of people getting real personal and taking it way too far. And people are way too comfortable insulting someone in this day and age because there's absolutely no ramifications on the internet at all. There's a real person there. And you can be happy that she's gone, like I am, but do not go too far. The comments actually had to be turned off on all of the Twitter posts of her leaving because it got that toxic. That's why I'm so grateful for you guys who watch my videos because I always read the comments every single day. And I'm always amazed at how civil you guys are. You guys seem to share your opinions really well, and you have conversations with people who think differently than you do. We need to do more of that, because the only way we're gonna move forward is if we're working together. Now, speaking of working together, 343 has three new positions to replace Bonnie's old one. Instead of delegating the huge role to one person, there are three new leadership positions at 343. Those people are Pierre Hintz, who is the new studio head, Ryan Kosky, the GM of the Halo franchise, and Elizabeth Van Wick, head of business and operations. I also think Kiki Wolfkill is keeping her position. However, I have no idea about Frank O'Connor. Now, Pierre is actually responsible for spearheading the major revamp of Halo MCC. When the MCC got fixed, he was the man in charge. In a previous employee spotlight, his exact job description was the responsibility for all Halo legacy products right up to, but not including, Halo 5 Guardians. If you want to get to know him a bit better, I'm gonna link his employee spotlight that 303 posted back in September of 2018. It's worth a read, it's pretty short. You might get to know the guy a bit better, who's now the head of 343. Ultimately, this move had to happen. Not only the whole Halo community, but the broader gaming community wanted to see things change. Have a reshuffle, put some new people at the top, change things up a bit. So I think this is gonna have a big impact. However, it's gonna take time to see these changes at the studio, and even longer for us to see them as players. So guys, let me know down in the comments, are you happy about Bonnie leaving? What do you think is gonna happen now? How do you think things are gonna change? Joe Staten was not affected in any way. He is still in charge of Halo Infinite and Halo MCC, and I'm sure we'll hear more as the situation develops. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys.